it says this. It says, it says, it says, by thee have I been holding up from the womb. Thou art he that took me out of my mother's bowels, and my praise shall be continually of thee. My praise, you took me out of my mother's bowels. No doctor, no demon could abort me. No demon could miscarriage me. No demon could move me out of the bowels of my mom, and I will praise you continually. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And then he gave me Luke 1. On top of that, he gave me Luke 1. He gave me Luke 1 on top of that. I'm going to say it again. It was in weeping over those babies that he prayed and said, Lord, if you, if you give us a son, we will raise him to be a preacher. Now go to Luke 1. Ooh. Ooh, go to Luke 1. And, and go to verse number 15. And when you get to verse 15, 115, it says, For he shall be great in the sight of the Lord, Ooh. and shall drink neither wine nor strong drink. And he shall be filled with the Holy Ghost even from his mother's womb. I believe Tim Tebow was one of them filled with the Holy Ghost from his mama's womb. He doesn't drink. He doesn't smoke. It's all in the Word. It's in the Word of God. Believe the Word. The Word will make you free. Amen. Every church in America ought to be teaching this. Not with their own opinions, not with their own internet, because they're not listening to that. But with the word. They can contend with man. They can contend with me. They can rebuke that. They can turn their back on, they can argue with me, they can argue with me, they can argue with you. But the word is the truth. Can't contain and argue with that. You'll be wrong every time. Now, 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 now. So she said, after he got up on his knees, he came home and told our family. And they were excited. And they began to pray for Timmy, which means honoring God. Honoring God. It took me a while. Now, get this down. This is what she said. No, she said that they that the family was praying and excited. But she said it took me a while to pray. Mm. I told you, y'all, I showed you in the scripture earlier that anguish, some heavy is on you. Mm. It took me a while to pray along with them because I knew that medical conditions were poor. I had just been through a life-threatening case. Ooh, here it is. I had just been through a life-threatening case. Now, I'm going to say this word. I'm going to say this thing that she gave. And anybody in the medical field can tell me what it is because I tried to look it up in the medical dictionary and I couldn't find it. But I want to know what happened to her. Here's what it says. I had just been through a life-threatening case of me victorin dis entering. Me victorin dose industry. That's it. Men vitrin denosis. Endometriosis. What is it? Nine of the years? Thank you. That's what it is? She said that it was life-threatening. Okay, got gotcha. y'all. Thank you, women. And I almost died. She said, took me a little while to pray because they want to have a son, but I just came out from being attacked in my uterus. And I almost died. And we had very little contact with friends and family. Remember, they're in the Philippines. Tim Tebow's mom. She said, but nevertheless, I prayed too. And God answered our prayers and I got pregnant. She said, but get this. But from the beginning, here is where Satan likes to do to certain many, many women who are having a baby. 
But from the beginning, it was a difficult pregnancy. Yeah. Come on, preacher. How many of y'all by hand have a difficult pregnancy? Let me see y'all. Uh-huh. Thank you. A difficult pregnancy. Uh, let me tell you who just had a real difficult pregnancy. Um, Janet Jackson. Oh. <laughs> well, I wouldn't know that name, did it? Oh, God. You know that name? You know that name real quick? When is, what is it? Four years old? Five years old? You know, Janet Jackson. Oh, Janet Jackson. Janet Jackson had a difficult delivery. Yes, she did have a baby. She just had it. Janet Jackson had to lay in the bed her entire nine months. She didn't know one. So she said, I almost died. But I got pregnant. But from the beginning, it was a difficult pregnancy. She said, I had profuse bleeding and cramping. We kept thinking, now get this, I'm telling you how the devil messed with you. This is the end part of your life. When you're going through, when you in a battle in any area of your life, Satan can show you defeat. And, and if you're not careful, you'll believe what he's showing you. If you don't watch it, Satan will show you failure when God is getting ready to give you victory. But if you get deceived by the failure, you'll mess the victory up before it gets to you. Satan can show you there's no way out. And God already got a way of escape. Mm. Yes. Satan will come in on you in so many multiple ways of negativity. It'll be like a flood. And you get jacked up not knowing that God can raise up a standard. Oh. You hear me? Thank you. So, here it is. She's bleeding. Profusely, she said. My God, my God. And she is cramping. So guess what she thought? Guess what she and her husband thought? They thought that we lost Tim so many times. Ooh. Did you hear that? Trendy? Come on. Did you hear what I just said? Did you hear that? She said, We thought we lost him. What? What's been in your life with that, that you thought you lost? But God came and mm, it wasn't a loss at all. You, you know you've been there. You know that you got fearful. You know you got scared. You know it. But God was on your side. Always know something. When you have professed Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, God is with you. The devil don't want you to know that. So, they're thinking, when she's bleeding, she thinks that Timmy is in the blood. Many times, she didn't say one or two times, she said many times we thought that the devil had aborted him inside the womb. You know what kind of fear that can put in a woman? When she wants that child. Now, 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 now. We went to the best doctor in town. Well, you better hear this. For those of you who love doctors, well, oh, I love them. I love hospital, I love nurses. I ain't got no problem with anybody going to a doctor. You hear me? But here's something you better know. When you go to the wrong doctor, you better know how to exchange doctors. Do you hear me? You go to a doctor with no Jesus, you can try. Oh, I'm going tell you something about me. <coughs> I went to a clinic one day. I went to a doctor. I was with a family doctor. Hot. Hot. Get it. Thank you. What is it called? Practical practice? Huh? Huh? No, no. Family. Okay. Okay. And guess what I did? Man, hey, y'all better do some boldness in you for Jesus. I'm there for the first.
first time I walk in there, excuse me, um, can you tell me which one of your doctors is saved? <laughs> she said, what? I said, do you have a doctor who is saved, who knows Jesus is his Lord? I asked her. She said, hold on, I think there's one. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> That's the one I want. <laughs> Man, I'm going to teach you some stuff up in here. So, I got one. And he was saved. Do you hear me? So look. Look now. I went to the best doctor in town. is a female doctor. So this got to be a gynecologist, am I right? She did some tests. And said that it really wasn't a baby at all. Tim Tebow's mama, with Tim Tebow in his mama's belly, the doctor said there isn't a baby at all. Mm. Hold on. Oh, that's enough to mess you up, eh? Mm. Oh, that's enough to jack in. Remember, you've been thinking you're going to lose him anyhow. Hold on. She says, a matter of fact, is nothing but a big fetal mass. Mm. M-A-S-S. Just a mass of gunk. Ain't no baby in your belly. Just a big mass of crap. She said, you better abort The doctor would tell you to abort your own child. Are you spiritually weak? Her words was, she's it was a mass of fetal tissue. And I needed to abort. And guess what else? Abort immediately. Abort immediately. Satan so wants you to move quick yeah. in his crap. Yeah. Yeah. Move quick in this curve. I'm telling you, the doctor, I know you're going to believe the doctor, aren't you? <laughs> you believe the doctor before you believe God. <laughs> Do you hear me? Told them abort immediately. Ooh. You know how many women out here that doctor told them to abort? Yeah. Huh. You can't even count them. You can't even count them. Said abort immediately. Uh oh. But look at this. But look at this. When you trust, oh, when you know God, He said. She made it even more juicier with Satan. You ready? Abort immediately if you want to live. Mm. So she tied, had the woman to make a choice. Tim Tebow's mama had to make a choice. It's either my life or Tim Tebow's life. If you want to live, you got to abort this child. If you got to abort this child, you and the child, well, well there's no child there. So it means that you want to die. That's a lot for one woman to hear. That's a lot for the husband to hear. Do you understand me? Help her out, please. Devil is a liar. I knew he'd mess with it sooner or later. Who got this on purpose? So am I still alone? Because sometimes you're still alone. It came this way. Huh? You said I'm still alone. 